What's up guys, Godzilla back with another video. In this video we're going to be talking about Zer and his inventory. He is right over here in the tower by the speaker. So just come on down right over here and you can come check out his awesome stuff. This week I believe he actually has some pretty decent loot um, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, first you got the Legacy Ingram. Of course you know how I feel. Uh, I would say don't buy this unless you absolutely think you have to. Uh, just because it costs a lot and there's no guarantee that you're going to get what you need um, And then you have to spend a lot of materials just to get anything um, So you got to spend 29 strange coins for this and then you've got to spend uh, You know an exotic shard and a bunch of other stuff or 2500 glimmer to get the current year or current year three light level From the uh, bounty or from the blueprint board. So it's just kind of up to you. I wouldn't do it, but you know at your own discretion do with it how you feel you should do with it um, next helm of the saint 14 this is one of my favorite titan exotics um, blinds enemies inside your ward of dawn uh, this is a huge thing when you're doing activities oh, oh. oh sorry it's early guys um this is a huge beneficial piece of gear when you're doing something where people are coming at you like this week with the nightfall berserk is on so people are coming after you um this is great for when you're doing the raid this is great for when you're doing uh the saber strike as a nightfall just because people come in your bubble all the time and this will make them blind and they'll leave your bubble or you can attack them while they're in there without having to worry about them hurting you um for bonuses uh, it has intellect and strength um, ashes to assets, so uh, gay bonus super energy on grenade kills, heavy lifting uh, bonus super energy on heavy weapon uh, means the darkness, and invigoration gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird, it's just because I just woke up. Uh, next, we got the radiant dance machines, which pretty much they just uh, make you move quicker while you're aiming your weapon. This can be, this actually has gotten me out of a lot of. Uh, bad situations where I go around the corner and I'm aiming with my scout rifle and a sniper's looking at me or any other weapon and this has enabled me to uh, get out the way before they can shoot me in the head and kill me um, so it, it's beneficial I would actually rather use the uh, let's see I'd rather use the frosty fives because they have wall sprinting gain tighter turn radius and faster grenade and melee regeneration um, because I can turn faster around the corners with a shotgun and um, I get faster grenade melee regeneration But if you don't have that or any of these other things the uh, Radiant dance machines are still a good exotic to have for the uh, hunter, especially in a PvP um, Situation and then lastly for the armor we have the skull of dire Ahamkara, which I've got to buy one because I don't have it On my warlock basically what this does is you take reduced damage while using Nova Bomb, which is great, especially during Crucible and PVE, um, where people are constantly hitting you when you're out there in the open. Because to use Nova Bomb effectively, you've got to pretty much jump out there and aim and throw it. Um, so this is great for Crucible because people can't hurt you as much while you're doing it. And it improves your energy drain. So once that Nova Bomb lands, you're gonna actually get more health uh, or health faster than you would normally and when you're using your melee you're going to get a better effect from your melee so you're going to be able to stay alive a lot better um, in multiple situations so i would highly uh suggest getting this um, just because i think it's a good uh year one exotic uh, so go ahead and get those if you want to but lastly this is one of my favorite weapons in the game the invective i love this gun i've used it so so much um it's got I used to, back in year one, this one, or this gun and the Icebreaker were my go-tos um, for exotics. And the Galahorn. Those were my, that was my trio um, as far as weapons went. This thing has a lot of good perks on it. It starts off with full auto. So, I mean, you got four shots in the mag, full auto and all. Um, so, how can it get any better than that? Well, you got final round. So, if you plan things out right. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, especially in crucible if you're coming up on somebody with a two hit and they got a you know overshield that final round is going to do bonus damage you're going to be fine so not only does it have full auto final round it also has send it so you got some bonus range there just in case you're a little bit farther off than what you think you are and then not only does it has that it has the main invective perk 
weapon regenerates ammo over time. So you know, if you're in the crucible and you're, you're tired of having to wait for that pesky special, well this gun right here is gonna regenerate some ammo for you. So you don't have to worry about it as much. Um, I love it for uh, PVE whenever I'm running around patrolling just because I don't have to worry about picking up ammo. The thing's got ammo for me and you can take down some pretty high level uh, enemies with four shots from this clip. Uh, so I would highly recommend if you don't have this gun, get it. Um, it's also got some really cool looking um, uh, ornaments. You got this one right here, which is kind of red. It looks kind of cool. It's got the tape around the the grip and the barrel right up here. But then this was my favorite. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? I mean, it, it's it's pretty much it's 3D almost. Like it it looks like it's moving. I don't actually think it is. Oh yeah, it is. It's 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 a 3D moving uh, thing. So I think that's a really cool one. I haven't gotten it yet. I wish I had but I haven't unfortunately but that's pretty much it for the weapons and the armor I would highly recommend getting these guys you know these are these are good good exotics good weapons so get those if you don't have them um, he also has uh, plasma drive and void drive for those of you needing to upgrade a rare sparrow he's got heavy ammo synth uh, three for one strange coin and ten for three strange coins it's actually cheaper if you go this route because you know for three of these so for three strange coins you get nine heavy ammo synth for three strange coins here you get ten so I'm not sure why you know these are still here <sighs> oh yeah. I'm so sorry guys it's raining outside my body's telling me to go back to sleep <laughs> Uh, we got three coins, five for seven strange coins, and then glass needles for all that junk right there. Nobody cares about glass needles. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't for sure. Uh, we got Mozart Light and Exotic Shards. So that's pretty much it for Zerus Inventory, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, that's pretty much it. He's got some decent stuff. I hope you like it. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Helps it get out there to people. Uh, comment below which uh, which inventory item that does he have this week that's your favorite. My favorite is the Invective just because it's so versatile. It has so many great perks on it. Uh, good year one exotic. I like the other ones, but it's my favorite pretty much in the game as far as weapons go. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more Destiny content, guys. I hope you like the way the new video is set up with all the stuff um, around the edges and everything, a little overlay. Uh, and follow me on Twitter at I am God's Elite if you want to check out um, you know what's going on with the channel, my life, and what everything else. And I will see you guys in the next video.